Hi, this video is going to be about the Crown Prince of Dubai, Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, also known as Faza, the one who helps. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. The Crown Prince, otherwise known as Faza, has just been a phenomenon. Women find him irresistible. His uh, poetry uh, breaks your heart. His um, sensitivity is obvious in every picture that you see. And his happiness is questioned. We're not sure if he's found true happiness, if the one he truly loves is in his sights or in his heart or in his proximity. And so that's what we want to ask in this video. There are going to be a lot of photos of the beautiful Prince Faza, and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be another reading about the Crown Prince of Dubai, uh, Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum, the one who helps Prince Faza. Pick this deck because this is the heaven and earth tarot. And I think he can move heaven and earth to find his true love and to contribute to his true happiness. It's a beautiful deck of cards. Um, they are very uh, touching and uh, I hope you enjoy the reading. Now, the question is this, because it's not clear through his poetry, through his music, through his deeds, and through his actions, if this crown prince has really uh, been able to find true happiness, true peace with his marriage, and uh, or if he's willing to put his country before all of that. So those are some of the questions that I'd like to look into here today. We want to know if the crown prince of Dubai, Prince Faza, the one who helps, um, is has had to set his heart uh, aside or to put his country first. Has he had to set his heart aside to put his country first or has he, does he have his true love with him? Let's take a moment for meditation. Okay, so let's see what the cards can tell us. Now, obviously, I don't have uh, Prince Faza with me, but what I've done is I have meditated. I've asked uh, the uh, spirits that are useful to me for help, and I hope that something comes through in this reading that helps us all understand better um, what uh, the motivations, uh, what the true feelings are of this prince, and uh, all of you who have his best wishes at heart uh, sending him that energy through your thoughts and through your mind is going to be the thing that I think uh, brings this prince through. Now let's take three cards for the question of, has he decided that he has to set aside his true heartfelt feelings in order to put his country first? Is that what's going on? Three cards for that. One, two, and three. Has Prince Faza decided to put his true heartfelt feelings aside to give the country all of his attention? Ah, so this is a very interesting card to draw. This is the um, Seven of Swords, or sorry, the Six of Swords. Swords, as you see right here, are truth, justice, rules, and law. So what does that tell me? And this uh, symbolizes moving the people you love out of troubled water. Is this the prince moving his true love into calmer water to protect them? Could be. It's an interesting uh, card to draw. The next card for whether the prince has decided to put his true feelings aside 
for the better of his country. Well, this card is temperance. This is a major arcana card. It's very important. It's one of the uh, most telling cards of the deck. And what it's uh, revealing to us here, this angelic figure is balancing between these two cups some um, temperance. In other words, learning how to find a true balance to keep uh, everything uh, in perfect harmony. And then the last card here is the, um, oh, this is the High Priestess. Okay, so the High Priestess comes to us between uh, the pillars of strength and law, and she has the Book of Knowledge in her lap. She brings with us all of the secrets that uh, can be revealed and all of the secrets that must remain hidden with her, her um, uh, uh, divine knowledge of what's best uh, for the outcome. So this is suggesting to me that not only for the country, but also for the, for the ones that he loves right here, that he has chosen that, he has, that his true innermost feelings have to take a back seat because he has to find a perfect balance uh, and understanding with the knowledge of the high priestess what's best for everyone involved. Interesting uh, reveal. Now, the next one I want to know here is will this prince eventually have the perfect life, the perfect love, the perfect attention that he requires in his life? Prince Faza, some of his poetry is heartbreaking. Some of his poetry is uh, unbelievably sensitive. Uh, and when you look into his eyes, I mean, you can see where he draws that knowledge, that strength uh, to, to develop these beautiful uh, sentiments. So Prince Faza, will he at some time, this could be very far in the future, this could be tomorrow, it could be even now, will he have his true heartfelt passions available to him and, 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 and be able to end any suffering if in fact he is uh, experiencing that. Three cards. One, two, three. Prince Faza, will he find true happiness? Has he already found true happiness? Oh, look at this. This is a beautiful card. This is the Ten of Cups, and this is Happy Family. The Ten of Cups is Happy Family. And we can see here that um, this uh, couple here and their children in the background, can you see the children represented right here? This isn't uh, indicative of specific children. This represents all of the children that a person may have in their happiest union. So this is telling us that true familial happiness is available for this prince. The next card, look at this, the lovers. It couldn't be a more perfect a card to draw. This is the major, a major arcana card. This is the number six of the major arcana. And this represents absolutely having your, your most devoted true love available to you, not only for the prince, but also for that person that fits that description. Beautiful. And then the final card is, ah, this is Dominion, is how it's uh, described here. This is another major arcana card. And uh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. This is one of the minor uh, pip cards. But it represents wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And the two of wands that you see right here, looking out over this compassionate, emotion-filled ocean and holding the world in his hand, this uh, prince is looking out with some short, term plans. So all of this happiness is not going to be far in the future for him. It will be available. And what a beautiful set of cards to get for that question. So will the prince find uh, his absolute uh, happiness with his absolute true love? Yes, he will. It's in the future. And now we'll draw six cards to try to, to talk about this prince's journey towards that happiness, towards his most perfect future towards um, total fulfillment in his heart and total fulfillment for probably his true love, which I'm going to guess is the, his country, because that is the responsibility of a crown prince. So six cards, one, two, 
three. Remember, I'm going to talk about these cards a little bit later in the video. So if you stay, you can see that. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. It helps me an awful lot and, uh, and means something to me personally. So I hope that you will subscribe and help me grow this channel. So Prince Faza, what can these six cards tell us about his journey uh, towards happiness for his country, happiness for his people, and also his true heartfelt happiness? The signifier card, look at this. This is the uh, five of pentacles, the five of coins. Coins represent value. They can represent money, but I think in this case, they're representing value. And these figures here are showing that they are outside of the temple where the value is kept. They're not allowed in. They're, um, they're barren. They're wanting uh, to be inside, but at this moment, they're being kept outside. Interesting card. So true um, access to your value, the most innermost, most important things to you is a little bit, it's available. These people only have to turn around and walk through those doors and it's all right there, but they're not allowed to do it just yet. That's the signifier card. The challenge to that is look at this. This is the four of the uh, major arcana and this is the emperor. This would represent uh, in this situation with Dubai, the current uh, king the one who controls the emperor is the one who controls all the power you can see that he has all the symbols of value at his disposal at his reach so this is the challenge to to having that true happiness is the emperor could this mean that perhaps uh prince faza won't be able to have true uh reach towards all of his value until this situation changes the basis of this reading here is the Princess of Swords. Beautiful card to draw. Swords are truth, value, rules, and law. And the Princess of Swords is holding up her sword to say, I have your value, my prince. I have your truth here, and I will hold on to it for you. So the key to all of this is that princess who's most valuable to him. In the past of this reading, look at this. This is truth uh, and law, and, 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 and it's a broken heart obviously. So in the past of this is a broken heart. This card is called sorrow. But what it tells me that it's in the past is that this prince has come to understand and how to compartmentalize, to put aside that feeling, okay, in a safe place. It's in the past of this reading, that broken heart. In the sky of this reading is the perfect card because this is the hanged man. This is number 11 of the Major Arcana, and the Hanged Man is telling us that you have to look at this. The best that you can do, the highest goal you can reach for, is to put everything in a different perspective. Look at it from another way. Look at your situation from a way that others wouldn't do. That's uh, painful for you, it's uncomfortable for you, but you're willing to, to withstand that discomfort because you must. You must look at things from another direction. And then the final outcome uh, for the journey of Prince Faza towards his true happiness is right here. And this is the Princess of Cups. Beautiful card. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but this is a beautiful, almost golden goose up here. This is a lovely Princess of Cups. And what are cups? Cups are heartfelt situation. Cups are loaded with emotion. And you can see this princess is on a pedestal in this ocean of emotion right here. There's a little surprise uh, represented by actually a turtle. And we know the turtle for being a slow mover, but sure and steady. And so the surprise coming out of this cup of emotion is that sure, slow, and steady turtle beckoning towards that princess, the princess of cups, the princess of hearts. Yes, she is in his future. She is the final outcome and he will find true happiness with her. I'm going to read it again quickly. So the journey of this prince towards his true happiness is being kept outside of all of that value. It's challenged by this emperor, the most um, important uh, ruler of the realm. It's underscored by this princess of swords, this princess representing truth and justice. And in the past, 
is the broken heart that he's learned to compartmentalize, to keep it aside. In the sky is that he has learned to look at all of this from another way that most of us couldn't, but he must. And then the final outcome, though, for his patience and for his wisdom is this princess of cups, the princess of emotion, the princess of love almost, with this sure and steady symbol beckoning towards her and eventually flying to the prince. Beautiful cards. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Well, I truly enjoyed this reading. I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing it. And if you have an alternative uh, theory on what the cards meant, please let me know. Put that in the comments and uh, let me know what you'd like me to read about and I'll read about it. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hey. So this is the Heaven and Earth Tarot by Jack Sifroth and Jamie Elford. And uh, these are Los Scarabio cards. And I got to tell you, these are great. Um, they come in a cool box with that magnetic clip on the side, which I like. The guidebook that there that comes with them is very useful. It's just a full-size book that you could uh, sit and have a cup of tea and and read through it. The cards themselves, and it's a color book, which I appreciate. It may not look like these are in color, but this is how the cards are kind of muted with little pops of color here and there. And there's lots of nice suggestions on how you might use these cards uh, in uh, the divinations. And then the cards themselves are are very nice. The um, I have not put them in the box well. The little discombobulated uh, here today. Um, I want to spread them out so that you can get a look at them and see kind of what cards look like. And although they're kind of uh, and then that noir style where they're black and whitish with just some hints of a uh, of very uh, shaded uh, color here and there. Um, you can see that they're gorgeous cards to use. And um, so very nice. Uh, I do this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, then you can uh, have a look at almost this whole deck, you know, because you can stop the tape and really zoom in on some of this stuff if you wanted to. And uh, it's a nice way to mix the cards. If you're doing a reading for someone, you could have them uh, spread them out this way to kind of uh, get the cards mixed up. And um, that way uh, everybody's kind of participating in the process. So that's the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Some cards that I love, love, love using. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.